The Perks of Being a Wallflower, The Silence of the Lambs, The Dark Night Rises. Productions like these often have dozens of cast members, hundreds of crew, and thousands of people that bring these productions to life. And what these productions have in common is they were filmed locally in Pittsburgh. But how do they get here? How do they get the supplies they need to film? And who is responsible for making everything run smoothly? That answer is Don Kieser, the director of the Pittsburgh Film Office. Don has worked in the film office for more than 27 years and has brought tremendous amounts of business and entertainment to southwestern Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, we've been on a roll lately, but we've brought in over 200 projects at this point. We're closing on $2 billion worth of new money that's been brought into this region's economy since 1990. And currently filming, we have two television series, a feature film starting next week, and we have two more features coming. Being the director of the film office is no small task. We have over 20,000 people that work in this industry on a full-time basis statewide, with about 8,000 of them based here in southwestern PA. So why is Pittsburgh such a hotspot for film and television? Don attributes this mostly to the substantial film tax credit program in PA. 16 years ago, we created the very successful Pennsylvania Film Tax Credit Program. Basically, I treat it like a coupon at a store, at a Macy's. So it's 25% off. So for every dollar they spend in Pennsylvania on eligible expenses, the state of Pennsylvania gives them back a quarter. It's what's made Pennsylvania in the top 10 film locations in the country. It's what made Pittsburgh and Southwestern Pennsylvania in the top five uh, desired locations in the country. It's why you see so much work. It's why you see so many people wanting to come and film here. But that's not the only reason film and television productions come to Pittsburgh. Prior to the tax credits, the biggest thing was all about doubling or looking like something else. In Southwestern Pennsylvania, we're really fortunate because we can pretty much double for anything as long as they don't need two things, the beach and the desert. Those are two hard ones for us to do. But typically, they're looking for things that can look exactly like New York. The joke I told publicly one day was that we do New York better than New York does. But Dawn is not yet satisfied. She has big plans she hopes to move forward to continue developing a more permanent presence in the industry. But I think our next step is really to get the infrastructure built that's needed that there's brick and mortar buildings, that there's businesses that exist that just serve the film industry in Southwestern PA. With Dawn at the head of the film office, the film and television presence in Pittsburgh has continued to grow, and it's safe to say we can expect more great things to come out of Southwestern PA.